Hey Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows Vista. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Windows Codename Longhorn Build 5048, an Omega 13 or post development reset build from the 1st of April 2005. This build of Longhorn was the first post development reset build to be shared outside of Microsoft. It was shown at the Windows Hardware Engineering Conference 2005. Additionally, this build of Longhorn introduced many features which were carried over into the final version of Windows Vista such as a search box on the start menu and in Explorer Windows, Windows error reporting, a new help pane and working user account control. However, this builds closer visual resemblance to Windows XP than that of prior Longhorn builds shocked many people, with Windows enthusiast Paul Thurrett stating that this build had quote, the makings of a train wreck. However, is this a justified view of build 5048? Well, let's find out and let's start. Now, there are two things which are immediately obvious about this build when comparing it to the last build we looked at, which was build 4093. Now, remember, build 4093 occurred, it was compiled before Longhorn's development reset. The first thing you should have noticed already, and that is the new boot screen. So if you missed it, here it is. This is the new boot screen present in this build compared to the one in build 4093. The other thing you should see here is the new wallpaper. Now this wallpaper is still known as Bliss from Windows XP. So the name hasn't actually changed. If you check out the names of all the other wallpapers here, you'll see that they are identical to the ones with those names in XP. The only difference is that we have this new one, which is this wallpaper called Bliss. We still have, as it happens, the original Bliss as well. So here it is, there you go. On the same theme, if you pardon the pun, we still have the XP themes, as usual, here they are. I'm not gonna apply them because it'll take too long, and we have the classic theme. We also have this theme, which is known as Aero Style. Now, at the Windows Hardware Engineering Conference 2005, Bill Gates, in his keynote, did specify that this visual style was not the final visual style, and that the final visual style would not be seen in Longhorn for the time being, until a future date. So, as with prior builds, this visual style, even though it's called Aero Style, was never meant to be the final theme. It was always meant to be a temporary theme, until Aero was ready to be shown. Now, in build 5048, you can activate the desktop composition engine, as seen in some previous builds of Longhorn. However, by this point, the desktop composition engine was known by a new name. It was now known as the Desktop Window Manager, or DWM. In this build, you can activate the DWM or Desktop Window Manager and indeed full Aeroglass transparency. Now, interestingly, in this build of Longhorn, there are two different versions of the Aero theme. One version is called Glass, which became the Windows Vista default Aero theme with full transparency. And the other one is known as Metal. This became the Windows Vista basic theme, which had no transparency but looked very visually similar. I'm not going to go into detail about how to activate the DWM, but I will put information in the description on how to do this. It's quite a simple thing to do. I will just show you very quickly what it looks like when it is activated. So firstly, this is the metal theme. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the Windows Vista basic theme. Notice that there are no animations on the windows. However, if you hover over these buttons at the top in the title bar, you do get some nice effects here. Notice that if you maximize a window, the color of the title bar changes to black as seen in build 4074, where the same thing occurred. And again, if you restore the window, the original color will return. You cannot change this color, it's hard coded. Now the glass theme looks very much the same as the metal theme, except that as you may have guessed, it's transparent, or at least the title bars are. So this is the glass theme. And again, same thing, if you maximize a window, you'll see, just like in build 4074, that the transparent title bar becomes black. And again, if you restore, the transparency comes back. Now, I said there were a couple of things that were obvious about this build that were different to 4093, but another one is, if you check out here, you should notice that there's no sidebar. So in build 5048, there is no longer a Windows sidebar. Now, obviously, if you were a Vista user or you have used Vista in the past, you will know that Vista did come with a sidebar. However, at this stage in development, 
after the development reset, if you think about it, what Microsoft were doing with starting over again with the development was they were reintroducing features gradually and they were making sure this time that they had proper bug testing done beforehand and that the code was stable before it came into the win main builds. So by the time of this build, which is quite early on after the reset still, there is no sidebar. And that's probably because the sidebar code had not been properly stabilized and checked. So the sidebar will reappear in a future build. Uh, so we'll check out that in the future. Now, let's move on to the start menu. Now the start menu has a search box in build 5048 and this is the first instance in Longhorn development that we see the search box in the start menu that indeed is carried over into the final version of Vista. Along the same lines, we now have a search box in Explorer windows. It doesn't work very well. Let's try searching for a program. Okay, so you can search easily in the start menu. I've got calculator here. You've also got a few options at the top. You can arrange by different things. So you can choose, arrange by name, size, date modified, etc. You've also got this one, which arranges things alphabetically. So you can have A to Z or Z to A, up to you. Now, a couple of other things with the start menu. Let's go into the properties. Now, if you look at the advanced settings for start menu customization, there are a couple of things here which are interesting. Firstly, if I scroll down, you have an option called My Games. Now, you'll see it's already checked display as a link, but it's not showing up. So actually, it doesn't work. Same with this thing, My Hardware. So even though it's listed in the properties here, it actually doesn't show up in the menu anyway. Okay, even if you change this to display as menu, it still doesn't show up. So they're kind of dead options at the moment. Now there's also an option called show shutdown cancel dialog and I'm not quite sure what this does. Now the name would imply that it's meant to show a dialog like the one that we saw in build 4093 that gives the user a countdown to cancel a shutdown or a standby before it actually happens. However, when you turn this option on, this behavior doesn't occur. So I'm a little bit, I'm slightly confused there. Let me know if you know anything else about this option, but otherwise it doesn't appear to do anything in my experience. And there's one more option, which is this one. We have some power options. So we have the normal power options. Then we have what's called power MRU mode. And I don't quite know what that means. So if you know, can you let me know in the comments, please? Because I'm not certain what the difference is here, but you have those options there. One final thing with the start menu, and perhaps the most obvious, but I've not mentioned it yet, is that from this build of Longhorn 5048, you now no longer have a cascading programs menu like you did in previous versions of Windows. So the programs are now in line, so they appear in this area of the start menu. And this feature was carried over into the final version of Windows Vista. So let's look at the Explorer changes now. So let's open a window, let's go to computer. Now in the computer window, you'll see that we have a return of these drive space progress bars underneath the icons, which show you the available space on the drives. Now these progress bars were originally seen in some of the very earliest Longhorn builds, but were later removed to quite a long time, but now they're back in this build. Now, if you right click an explore window in the taskbar in build 5048, you get some options to enable or disable some of the features of the explore window. So you can turn off the back and forward buttons if you like. You can turn off the address bar. You can turn off the search box and just have a very simplistic window like this, if you like. Let's put them back on because I don't like that. Now these options possibly were just testing features and not necessarily something which was meant to be in the final version of Longhorn. But I don't know. Again, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Now, there's a little discrepancy in Explorer in build 5048 that's quite interesting. If you note where the details box is in this computer window, it's at the bottom. However, if you go to certain folders, it jumps to the top. So if you go to the local drive, the C drive, for example, the details pane jumps to the top for some reason. Same thing in the Windows folder, it jumps to the top. I don't know why. This is also true for the program files folder, it's at the top, but if you go into another folder, which is not one of those, it will jump back down to the bottom with a different colour, which is bizarre, but that's the way it is. Now whether that means that there were two different Explorer layouts that they were toying with, or whatever, I don't know, I don't quite know. Again, if you know, let me know in the comments, I'm not certain. Now it's time to look at a few curiosities and oddities in build 5048, so the first one is if you click on help and support in the start menu, you'll notice that the help program is actually missing from this build. It doesn't exist. 
Now, even though the help center is missing in this build, there is a rather dubious so-called help pane in the Windows folder. If you open it, it looks like this. So it's basically what appears to be the Windows XP Bliss wallpaper with a Longhorn breed of bull photoshopped on top. And this is literally it. There's nothing else here. There are no help topics to access. However, if you do search for help, you do get these four options. But then there's nothing in them when you click on them. Let's have a look at control panel. So another new feature in build 5048 of Longhorn is this new style control panel. When it's displayed as category view, you have this new sidebar on the left hand side, which looks a lot like the one in Vista. You can switch to classic view if you like, and it displays classic view as groups and it groups options depending on whether they are related or not seemingly. If you scroll down, you get some different options at the bottom. You have change slash remove programs, which appears to be a renamed add remove programs, which doesn't currently work as you can see. You've also got this option called OS and application updates, which again shows nothing. Add new programs shows nothing. The task manager link does however launch the task manager which is borderline useful. And those are the only main changes there. Now I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this build of Longhorn includes Windows error reporting, which is true, but the UI for this is hidden somewhere in the Windows folder. So if you go to system32, and load an exe file called work on you get a prototype ui for the what's known as windows event reporting console and this is a precursor basically to the problems and solutions center so you can view problems that have been logged with your computer i don't know whether this works or not please let me know if you know but i'm not sure because i haven't had any problems on here so far you can also view solutions check for new solutions which obviously won't work and choose problems to report, which again, obviously won't work. Now, other than that, these are the only main changes I've found in this build compared to build 4093. Now, as always, if you found anything else in build 5048 that I've missed, that is a notable change or addition or deletion from build 4093, then please let us all know in the comments below. And as usual, I will add annotations to the video for anything that I think is relevant that I've missed. Otherwise, that's it for build 5048. In the next episode, we'll check out what new features and changes have occurred via later build. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.